This is a demonstration reel showing some applications of the Adios 3000 raster display system to CAD CAM display. Our Solid 3000 software package allows the display of bicubic surfaces as well as polygonally defined data and provides hidden surface removal, light shading calculations, and display as you see here. This is a polygonally defined te CAD CAM test object. A more complex function involves the rendering of curved surface data. Here's a bicubic patch defined object being rendered as you see it here in real time. All of the patch decomposition into polygons, hidden surface removal, normal calculations, light source calculations, etc., all being carried out in real time as you see it using the Adis 3000. Yet another complex function is the ability to simulate a milling tool for NC verification. Here you see a simple test case. This is a milling tool being passed across a solid block of metal. Let's look at some of the interactive features of the Adis 3000. You can see we use a set of control dials to provide local transformation capability. We've got hidden surface capability. Here's that display of bicubic patch data again. Here the user can take uh, a data tablet, a particular control point, uh, move that control point around. In red you see the outlines of the bicubic patches. And when the user wants to take a look at a hidden surface view, it can be quickly put up on the screen. Again, all computation is takes place in the Adis 3000 display. Let's look at the basic functions that make up this package. We include the lines to draw curved lines and straight lines to draw polygons and draw curved surfaces. A set of control points has been used to define each of those types of objects. Here you can see the steps involved in putting up a patch for display. We use an adaptive subdivision algorithm which ensures accurate representation of the patches. We provide support for different types of basis functions, such as Bezier, B-spline, or Cardinal, that is, interpolating spline functions. User-supplied functions can also be installed in the system. Here's a test object of about 100 patches. Breaks down into about 4,000 polygons for display. And you see a set of contour planes in green, which have been intersected with the object. We also support the idea of sectioning planes, that is, a plane beyond which the object is removed or clipped. Here's a test case, about 40 patches. We'll now display this in transparent mode over top of a, an assembly of other objects. This is screen door transparency for simple effects. For more complex uh, functions, particularly those with several layers of transparency, we provide true transparency calculations. It takes a little while longer, but gives better results. We provide Garo shading functions, where we smoothly interpolate the color across the surfaces of, of the polygons, and, and true fong shading. All calculation of the normals and light source calculations are done locally in the Adis 3000 with no need to go back to the host computer for this data. We provide the ability to display anti-alias polygons and lines. Here you see the same structure. We're going to display the uh, polygon subdivision version in anti-alias form as well as a hidden surface standard. We provide a local tree structure display list format, which is useful in connecting to CAD CAM applications. Here you can see that one object, the green handle, has been replicated several times to make up an assembly of objects, and then that assembly has been replicated again. Uh, this ability to do instancing and to have local transformation capability is all included in the Solid 3000 package. Here's the local transformation capability being displayed. Here's a patch. We're just uh, providing a rotation to it. The user can interact with control points for defining surfaces. Here you see a simple surface, which has the control points being uh, manipulated by the user. Advanced rendering functions are included in the package. Parametric texture and bump mapping are included. Here you can see the mandrel face is mapped onto a bicubic surface. And we're also, as you can see from the bu bumpy texture, uh, providing normal perturbation or bump mapping of the texture as well. Let's take a look at that milling demonstration again. Here's an interactive demonstration. The user's got a data tablet that he's using to manipulate the position of the simulated cutting tool as it cuts through this block of metal. We'll pull back a moment, and you can see that the user is using the data tablet and a set of control dials to control the depth of the milling tool. The milling tool can be passed through the solid center of this object and out the other side again. This type of speed and high performance capability is unique to the Adis 3000 display system. Of course, in a real application, the cutting tool 
size and shape and orientation would be controlled by an NC verification uh, application routine. Here's a simple example of that. We've taken that test part and used it as a simple outline. We'll pass this large cutting tool back and forth across the outline, just controlling its depth. A real application, of course, would use a much more sophisticated and uh, three, four, five axis uh, milling tool a verification procedure, but we wanted to show just in, in simple form what's the display capabilities of the Adis 3000 r in this important application task. Just a few more passes have completed our simulation of the milling of the CAD CAM test part. A unique feature found in the Solid 3000 package is the ability to put together a sequence of views. The views are first computed using our hidden surface and local light shading algorithms and then assembled into an animation file. This is a set of encoded images which can then be played back at 15 frames per second at real time rates. Here's an example showing 64 frames being played back in real time. Here we're cycling up to the frame 64 and then back to frame 1. All of these frames are held in the Adis 3000 display system. If the host computer can supply data at a sufficient rate, about 250,000 bytes per second, then arbitrarily long sequences can be put together. The flickering you see is simply a f an artifact caused by the fact that this portion of the demo is filmed with a TV camera pointed directly at our display screen. Please contact Adis Incorporated for more information.